Hi everyone, I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be talking about The Walking Dead Season 10, Episode 7 Review. So it's called Open Your Eyes. So if you guys watch this episode, let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of the episode overall. Did you like it? Did you not like it? It was eh. Let me know because I love hearing your guys' feedback on the episode. So, yeah, overall the episode I thought it was very good. Um, there was some int to it, but like, but overall, it wrapped up a good storyline to a character that spoiler alert had died in the episode. I kind of, but by whom they should like wrapped up his storyline and stuff. So yeah. Um, we see them bringing back the Whisper Prisoner and try to ghost Nate, try to think of a way to, uh, to get him cracked because he was one of the guardians watching the herd that, particularly what Lydia was saying, so they went into the tavern to like, hmm, let's figure out how to go easy on him, show him what we got and stuff, and then, like, Carol, like, here, let's try this with the jam and stuff, and he's spitting in her face, and she's like, I'm done, we're gonna torture his ass, so, that's what it looked like, and it was just, like, the point of her hitting him and trying to get him to crack, like, he says, oh, I'm Lord to Alpha and all that stuff, and pretty much she's like, and Lydia was like, she was like, well, she, why she thought of Lydia was because the whisper said, oh, well, she killed her own daughter. So that's one thing that's going to probably demise the alpha. If some of the whispers do find out Lydia is, is alive, it's going to be her demise. So, but besides the point, like Carol thought, well, I'll show him Lydia's here. And like Daryl's like, kept on saying, no, don't, don't, don't. And. Yeah, they go throughout that episode of trying to crack this whisper and like, and with that, and then we see most of focus on Sadiq. This was a really good focus on Sadiq. This episode was of him still going dealing with him having this PSD and him dealing with like the with um the barn scene. He was just getting puzzles, 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 and that was throughout this season about Sadiq. And, like, it was just very wonderful, like, him having these moments with Rosita and helping all these people. And he's, like, he's frustrated because he can't help figure out what was wrong, but he does figure out what was wrong is with the water. And it kind of gives you a way, like, because of Gamma was, like, poisoning the water. Like, it was confirmed Alpha had some part of infecting the water, but I don't know how it can... I guess it would because I think Ocean Tide was affected by it somehow, I think. I don't know, 100% sure. But, yeah, that was the clue of the water. And Sadiq figured it out after he had one of his moments and talked to Rosita. And I just thought it was really cool. He was having these moments, like, what to do. And, like, he had the, th jumped himself in the water. Rosita saved him. And, like, him and Rosita had the moments, like, talking. She's like... You have to get pretty much get your shit together. Like you have people that does care about you. You got Coco, your daughter. You got me. You got everybody else in Alexander. You can get through this. And like overall, he's like was have so much guilt of not helping none of them. Like Enos and Tara and everybody else that got killed. He just feel like he's like I, he was a failure because he really cared about these people, especially, particularly Edith and Tara, because they really, he grow close, close to these two characters, particularly, and then, with that, and having all this whisper, with the whisper prisoner, him, pretty much died, and like, Dante was acting all fishy, like, blaming off on CD, said, oh, you're the reason why you died, and all that, and like, there was a moment with Aaron and Gamma, like, Pretty much like Aaron was doing like what he done with our group when season five. Just showing them all the nice stuff like we oh we break bread. Oh, this is my daughter drawing my daughter made and like we have community of having kids, we're raising it and all that and I think he, he was pretty much getting through Gamma, like Gamma was like questioning like, Hmm, this is a better place than what Alpha has for 
bull crap and per se and like she's got her by a brainwash and like she was just sitting there questioning and she killed one of the walkers and gamma like pretty much gamma got caught by alpha and she's like oh, you getting punished buddy and like she does like at beta done her and she's done lydia by pulling your arm up hitting you with a whip and you can just tell, like, she's trying to pull all this bull crap. Oh, our, their ways is bad. Our way is better. Like, you can tell this cr- alpha's freaking crazy and manipulated. And uh, m- sorry with that butchering. But you know what I mean. Like, she's manipulating people's mind, brainwashing them, and all this crap. And then she goes back with them again. She's like, Camel's like, well, I don't believe in you. Our way's better than yours. And then here comes Carol out of nowhere. And then here comes Lydia. And she's like, it's just like the mic, mic drop. Like, boom. Like, oh, shit. She is really alive. Alpha's crying. She runs off and just flat balls. And she's like, I, I pretty much she guesses what, like, Alpha's lying, what's next. And, like, Lydia had entrusted in Carol. Like, she figured, well... This whole episode, like, I guess, I don't know how Carol was playing. I guess she's playing Lydia to be, get more out of her, like, picking sides. And Lydia's like, well, I, she's has me to be on her side. Oh, uh, she's liking me. She don't blame me no more for Henry's death. And then at the end of it, she just, like, pretty much, she just realized Carol's using her head and runs off. So, I'm very interested to in see what's next for Lydia. Is she going to get caught by the whispers and all that? So, I'm st- I'm st- interested with that. So, And then the big end of the, the cliffhanger. Sadiq does find out Dante is a whisper. I knew I had this gut feeling from the get-go with how Dante's been acting throughout the season. I knew something behind it. It proved that he was the one holding Sadiq back. And Sadiq find out and try to fight him or kill him. I don't know. But he Dante turn around and kill him. And it's just like, well, what the heck? Sadiq's the only one knows that he's a whisper. And I'm wondering if anybody finds out. So, yeah. Overall, the episode was very interesting. We got one more episode till the mid-season finale. That is next week. I'm really, really stoked. I just can't believe it's already, we're almost eight episodes down to of season 10. So, yeah, if, if you're new to my channel, if you like The Walking Dead, and you see what you see on this channel, if you like it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell for you guys to keep up with new videos, and I'll check you guys out in my next video.